Hello, hello. Welcome to Daniel Fast. The Daniel Fast um, typically is either run in 21 or 40 days. 21 day Daniel Fast is a spiritual and a, um, a limited diet fast as far as we're limiting some items that we're putting into our bodies. If that is to include no dairy, that includes cheese, eggs, no bread, no yeast products, even like Ezekiel bread, it has yeast in it. So no bread, um, no sweets, um, no alcohol, no caffeine, that includes caffeine-free tea and beverages um, and, and coffee, not, not, in, not on the, the menu as well. No meats, and obviously we're not doing any fried foods uh, and things. So what it does include is all you can with fruits, vegetables, rice. Um, you can have different types of natural based popcorns that just have just the popcorn and the and sea salt. As far as in other ingredients and seasonings, have all the seasonings you can with the exception of real salt. You can have sea salt. Now this is a variation. You may see different other ways to be able to do the fast as well. But typically over the last 10 years or so, um, I've led through people and helped them through my church as well and may have allowed sea salt. Um, and those added sugars, that includes um, honey, agave, syrups, all those things. You can say, oh, honey, it's natural and from the earth. Yes, it is, but it's not included in that. So it, it is a type of plant-based or vegan diet, even though some vegan food items do have those added sugars and things in there. But so you have to pay attention to labels. So just because it says plant-based or vegan, it does not necessarily mean that it's an approved item for the Daniel Fast, <clears throat> for the 21-day Daniel Fast. So we're going to go through and look at some things that you can eat, how to put things together, set up some more measures and things for success. Before you get started, I want to quickly introduce myself. My name is Dr. Letitia Williams. I'm a licensed physical therapist, um, certified health coach, and certified running coach. And I participated in the Daniel Fast for since at least 2009, 2010, and helped um, a lot of different people kind of go through this fast over the last 10 years. Um, or so leading this group typically in the beginning of January of every year. So being able to have my it's a little bit of tidbits of things that I like to lean on to be able to help you when it comes to the eating wise of it. We don't want to be so focused on, oh my gosh, I can't have this to eat. Let me just try to replace everything I used to eat with something plant-based because you do have to look at ingredients, even the plant-based replacements, some of those are not approved items. And the goal is here is that yes, it is a fast. So you will have some restriction to things is not to be in the comfort zone of re just replacing everything you would normally be eating with something plant-based. That's kind of one of the pitfalls that I see people into, especially getting into getting a lot of what's really popular now, a lot of the plant-based meat replacements. Those can get very expensive as well as sometimes even a plant-based um, re um, replacement is still not an approved item on there. So you want to definitely try to use those not as much. I do use some of those plant-based meats replacements, but I don't use that in every meal and in every day. Um, those can get expensive during, you know, a lot of the plant-based replacements are a little pricey. So whatever we can do to get things that are a little bit easier on the pockets and easier to do, we're going to do that as well. So let's go ahead and knock into um, a couple of my food staples that I like to go to go through. Um, but one of the things I definitely go over is during the first days one through five are typically those tough days because your body's going through that detox. It's used to having that sweets at 2.30 in the afternoon. It's used to waking up to coffee um, or having the, the donut or the candy tray that sits at the end of your desk those items like that. So your body's gonna be like, hey, what you doing? We're used to having these things. So there's going to be maybe a little bit of irritability. There's gonna be fatigue, headache, especially if you're a caffeine drinker like I am. I have coffee every day. So the ways to be able to offset some of those things in those first days are definitely bumping up that water game. There's a quick little detox water reps recipe um, that you just need um, cucumber, lemon, and mint leaf, drop that into your old trusty water water jug. Put that in the um, uh, in the microwave, <laughs> in the fridge overnight, and then use that to drink out throughout the day. Up that water game like you've never upped it before. Um, you definitely might have to have times where you're just going to the bathroom more often because you're drinking your water. When you talk about kind of things gently with detoxing, 
um, a gentle detox for the system, natural detox for the system, water is an NQ. You don't need all the things and additives added um, into it. It's not gonna, it's not one of those things you think about, oh my gosh, the detox system and I'm gonna be having, you know, runs and all, no. Think about increasing your water intake, especially in that first um, day one through day five. So here are a couple of my staples I'd like to look at um, to bring you guys through that definitely one of my good friends here, good old old fashioned oats. Oats, you can mix everything in there. You can put all the seeds you want, flax seeds, chia seeds, whatever you want to add in there. Those seeds also add protein and fiber because our key is trying to have protein with every meal. Protein helps is obviously building black for our muscle recovery and repair and keeping us going, but also is the main key, key indicator to help us feeling full, fuller for longer, protein and fiber together. Well, it's two things, if you don't get anything out of this, protein and fiber together are gonna be your friends. Um, also easy enough to add um, to things like that are gonna be raisins, um, bananas, um, anything as far as things to sweeten up. My other go-to sweetener is gonna be dates. Um, I put those in a lot of different things. You can add those into smoothies as well. So you can definitely use smoothies um, as a, um, a way to be able to get in some more things for, your, for as far as protein and food. And then good old trusted peanut butter. Use that with a lot of stuff. Some people don't like it and may like eh, peanut butter, but I actually have peanut butter to my oatmeal. <laughs> yes, they were not. Gives another way to be able to help kind of full, full longer, and it gives you the nice little little protein gloves. Crazy Richard, this is um, dental fast approved. One ingredient, it just has peanuts only. Traditional peanut butter is going to have added sugars into them, so you have to find um, a peanut butter that either just has peanuts only or peanuts and sea salt. Um, I think there's um, one you can have probably some oil or something, but typically when they add the oil to it. Um, they add the sugar to it too. So you want to look for those hidden sugars in the labels. Good old Crazy Richards does it uh, as well. Another way that people are thinking, oh my gosh, I won't be able to get protein in. You can also get, you can get protein from several sources of plants, but you may have to supplement as well. And that's perfectly fine. The way to, a way, good way to supplement is to be able to try um, Garden of Life products, plant-based protein powder. That, this is a, a, an approved um, brand here that you can make these into smoothies. You can put in, um, as far as drinks that you can have, non-dairy um, milks, uh, coconut, almond, coconut milk, almond milk, all those different milks, but make sure you get the unsweetened version of those. Um, you can dive in all, all the many fruits, flax seeds, chia seeds, whatever you may do, banana or something to sweeten it, date or something to sweeten in there, blend it on up. Then you can have a nice little, that could be some things you can do in the morning or mid-afternoon when you're feeling like, yeah, I wanna, I wanna reach for that something sweet or I'm starting to get a little bit more fatigue. Definitely um, reach for something that's gonna give you um, a good little boost of protein in there. Um, pastas, all pastas are essentially permissive. Um, another, this is a pasta bonza that I like because it's gonna give me some protein and fiber. It's basically a pasta made out of chickpeas. Um, all the beans, Beans, chickpeas, all those things, protein and fiber are included in those. So you can definitely have those with a variety of meals. You can have potatoes, sweet potatoes, regular potatoes. Dice them up any way you, you, you want to do those. Obviously, you can't put the butter and the sour cream on there, but you can do olive oil, sea salt, pepper, whatever you, whatever you want. Throw some beans on top of it. Make it a loaded potato um, without having um, the animal-based products on there or dairy. Um, um, added on there too well. So Bonds is a good, good brand. Um, when you're talking about making pasta or sauces, you do have to look at labels for the pasta sauces because majority of pasta sauces haven't added sugar and or they have regular salt in them. So you want to probably look for an organic based version of uh, a pasta um, sauce for you. If you would like to be able to add in a meat replacement to that, think about that. Big thing of pasta the last couple of days with a meat replacement. I like my one of my go-tos for that first week, um, especially because typically at colder too, is some type of three, four, or five bean chili. I make that in a slow cooker. Um, and then I have that for dinners for a few days. So think about things that maybe can last a few days so it will decrease the load of you trying to worry about what trying to make um, as well. 
Uh, when it comes to plant-based meat replacements, don't rely heavily on those. They get expensive and they have not so good ingredients in there. And obviously the goal is for you not to be living in luxury of all the comforts and just replacing things with one thing after another. They are a good complement um, to that. You can decide and choose how you want to. Um, one that I uh, typically do is that Beyond um, Beef. They do have very different versions of it, probably a couple times throughout the week. I think sure you can use this as well, especially since this is kind of come at, kind of comes in that one pound packet. So you can use it in a variety um, of ways um, uh, for meals. You can throw it out in the chili. Um, you can make like some little quesadillas because you can use whole wheat tortillas. I use those whole, whole wheat tortillas for peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. There are certain brands. There's only maybe one or two brands of jellies that you can get that are approved because like I said, almost all jellies have an added sweetener or an added something into them, into the bowls as well. Uh, another go-to for me is um, you're trying to quit something you need on the go, or you're like, oh, I'm fatigued. I just can't feel it to make something tonight. Good old Amy's. This is uh, Amy's Burrito. This is made with organic rice and beans, and you see there's a little label on there that says non-dairy, so it doesn't have any uh, dairy added to it. This is some of the Daniel Fast approved. Look for these in your grocery store, frozen section. Sometimes you can find these on sale. Good go-to um, eating quick on the run, not feeling like cooking, you know, type day. Another brand to look at, Kroger Brace, is Simple Truth. Um, these are ancient grains with sea salt. These are rice crackers. You can find a way that, hey, dip these in um, a guacamole, dip this in some type of salsa, a little bit of a, a snack option there. Um, also, as far as chips wise, um, you can have some of the um, kettle-based kettle, kettle -based chips that just have the chip and the sea salt and maybe the oil in there. Um, this is a chip by Siete um, that's kind of be your tortilla chip. So chips and tortilla, use these to dip within your, your chili. Look at the McCain Kia's, looking at those ingredients for sure. Um, popcorn wise, you can have popcorn as a snack. Um, Boom Chicka Pop has a brand of, has um, their sea salt and popcorn that comes in an already popped bag. That's approved because it's two ingredients: sea salt and then the pop and then the popcorn. Other popcorns obviously had those other other extra things added to them. You can actually just get the popcorn kernels, old school. Pop that baby right on the stove, pop it on the stove, and add your olive oil um, um, and sea salt. For, for flavoring and things like that. So there's various different ways that you can be able to make those modifications as far as foods. The main thing is hydration, hydration those first five days and even beyond. Um, planning of your meals, maybe finding one kind of little, one or two little staple meals that you wanna prep one at the beginning of the week, eat that for two or three days, and then something else that you can have for another um, two, three days out of it as far as your dinners. And then being able to find some things that um, Daniel Fast approved foods um, along the way if you have to do kind of like little quick eats uh, on certain days as well. But we'll definitely within the Daniel Fast group, you'll be able to see some recipes, you'll be able to see some ideas so that you can start blending those together um, and then start getting those grocery lists together to get yourself prepped and planned. That's the main thing that people like run into is that they end up not having a plan and then things fall apart. Then they're like, oh, I couldn't eat anything because of this or I ran into this late schedule at work, or there's always the dinner, you know, the, the birthday party where they brought in cake or the celebration. You really honing in because the goal is it is a spiritual fast as well. We do our, we are modifying what we're putting into our body, but we're also growing, growing closer to God and having in that time where we're having prayer and meditation, um, as well as being able to moderate what we're putting into our bodies. All right. We'll have some more lives throughout this 21-day process and more resources for you.